All right, we're going to test my INR um, using the test meter, uh, test strip, and the lancet. Lancet, you take that and twist it. That arms it. Then you have to check the number on here, which is 109. And that will be the same number that comes up on here when we insert the strip so that we're sure that we're using the same strip that the meter is calibrated to. It's flashing right now waiting for me to insert the strip, which I do. And you'll see there's a 109 there and 109 here. So we have a match strip and we're good to go now. So we hit the memory and now we wait for this to count down. It'll beep at us telling us when it's time to puncture your finger and hopefully draw blood. Sometimes it doesn't work so well. Depends on your body and how, uh, how warm your hands are, whether you run them under water, whether or not your uh, blood is thin or thick. The temperature, air temperature actually seems to affect mine. Sometimes when it's warmer, it's uh, harder to get blood than it is when it's colder. And sometimes it's the opposite way. It just depends on uh, what your body's feeling at that point in time. All right, now it tells me I have 179 seconds. You can see that it's doing a countdown there. And there's a little blood droplet telling me that I need to apply blood here. So hopefully when I do this, you find a spot that works and and then you get some, someone helping you squeeze at least for the video and then you get a nice big thing of blood you drop it right in the center of the strip with luck and then you it beeps at you telling you that you applied blood and then it should give me a quality control check there which it did and now we just have to wait for it to decide whether or not I'm good, bad or ugly I would sing a song, but you really don't want to hear me sing a song. So This usually takes anywhere from uh, 15 to 20 seconds for it to suck the blood up into the machine, the machine to run its algorithms, and to uh, decide whether or not it's good. 3.3. Now, for some people that would be considered a little high. My doctor wants to keep me between 2.5 and 3.5, so for me that's absolutely perfect. Um, in fact, they prefer that I'm a little on the higher end than I'm on the lower end. And now what I have to do is transfer that into my booklet here, which keeps track of all my information. And then I have to call it in here uh, to a phone number, enter a PIN number, and it will allow me to uh, report my INR, which is then given to my doctor uh, either later today or first thing tomorrow. He'll have the report, he'll know where I'm at. And if, if the number was high or low, it would uh, tell him that I was having some sort of an issue and he would give me a call and tell me that I needed to adjust my levels of warfarin. And that's basically how you do an INR test at home.